morning guys saturday J january 7th um heading to a no no heat call it's a warranty call a goodman uh, gm9s 96 um put it in in september i was just there a couple days ago and it keeps giving me the triple e or double e zero code um so i'm gonna probably have to tear out the inducer take out the collector box check the tubulators there's a lot of issues with these furnaces and i'm i'm getting ready to pull back from goodman um just their quality control has gone downhill and um yeah so i'll get you some shots September. Um, get the, the TV zero code, which is a uh, three tries lockout. So let's see what's going on. Well, if you can hear that. A lot of water condensation in there. So I'm going to pull the collector box off and see what those tubulators look like. Just as I suspected, some of them are turned up, like that one there, all these. They're, they are definitely longer. I'm gonna have to maybe try to cut them down a little bit. Yeah, this is ridiculous. The water's not flowing down and it's collecting in the draft inducers it's pulling through. I've had this happen on other furnaces, not Goodman, but other ones. Yeah, 
so this issue is that it's not draining like it should. That one's that one's uh, pushed in. Closer. See, they're all facing down now. So, with these, they're little tubulars, like spiral pieces of stainless steel, and the water drips down there. But if they're, if they're up the other way, they can't drain, and then all the water gets sucked into the draft inducer, and that's why the draft inducer sounded like it was all sloshing. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go back and do this on a couple other ones too. Later that same evening
that. Yeah, I thought I had that figured out, but I didn't. Hopefully this will work. Rain insurance, man, a couple months old. This isn't the first one that other people have seen. They've been having issues with drainage issues. That's my green vent wheel. This is the, one of the furnaces that I, um, I didn't check gas pressures on when I installed it, I should have, but I didn't. So I checked them today, and they were, they were about four inches of water column. So I, um, I, I reset it, and the screw inside stripped. Um, I got it down to like 3.25, so I'm going to come back uh, next week and replace this gas oil under warranty. That'll be another video. So, so give me your thoughts and feedback in the comment section down below, and let me know what you guys think. If you guys run into this before, and um, I'm curious because this is annoying. See you in the next one. Yeah.